Welcome back trainers, today we're going to talk about special attack Charizards and a few different builds you can do with Terra Typing. Alright, so this first build here is going to be more the straightforward one. This is going to be a Terra Type of Fire, very easy to get. All you got to do is get your Dragon Terra Type from the Raid Den that's going on right now, breed it down, and you're going to get Fire Types that come out after that. So, obviously Charizard is the Fire Flying, but this is the Terra Fire, and what we're going to do is put 252 into both Special Attack and Speed. And then we're going to put the extra 4 in HP. You can put it in whatever you like, but having the extra HP there makes me happy. Now, as far as the move set, there's a couple different things you can do here. For the first one, Blast Burn or Flamethrower. Essentially, with Flamethrower, you're going to get to attack turn after turn, and you're not going to have to worry about really missing unless you have some accuracy downs or something like that. And with Blast Burn, you have a slightly lower accuracy, but you've got a much higher rate of damage. However, you also have to sit out the next turn and recharge from using Blast Burn. So it's like Hyper Beam. So it's kind of up to you if you want to go for the huge hit and try to one KO everything, or, or if you want to go for the consistent damage with Flamethrower. Now, Air Slash is going to be our flying coverage while we're fire flying here, and that's going to give us a lot of good coverage. And then Solar Beam is going to be the coverage that I like to have here, so that way if rock types or water types come out, I have something that can really beat them up, especially if I've got my solar power going, and it's going to, instead of taking two turns for Solar Beam, just one, and it's already doing a crazy amount of damage because of solar power, uh, and whatever the item is that you have on. So I like solar power. However, if you really want to maximize the damage from your Terra typing, which is fire, then you may want something like heat wave, especially if you're doing doubles, then this is going to attack the opposite side of the field and do damage to everything. But keep in mind, again, it is a lower accuracy, so you might miss on occasion. That being said, the fourth move is going to be protect. This is kind of my go-to move more often than not for Charizard for the fourth. I like having Protect because Charizard isn't the bulkiest thing in the world, and so people oftentimes try to 1KO it or just target it down with both Pokemon and Doubles, whereas Protect, you can kind of gauge when they're going to attack you and maybe draw those attacks, protect it, and then make them waste a turn. Meanwhile, your partner Pokemon is doing some kind of damage or debuffs or something on the field. Now, with regards to ability, item, and nature, we are going to be going with the solar power. Just keep in mind, you do have to set the sun for this to proc and work, but this is going to give you that huge boost to your special attack. And then our nature, you could either do timid or modest. Basically, timid is going to boost your speed. Modest is going to boost your special attack. I like timid in this case because we have already got a ton of damage going out. We've got our stab bonus from the Terra typing with the Terra bonus damage on there. Plus, we got the extra damage coming from solar power, the damage coming from our item. I, I just honestly, I'd rather get the speed out. That's, that's kind of how I'd rather do this one. Uh, but it's completely up to you. If you want the extra damage, go for it. And then uh, Life Orb is going to be the item that I recommend for this specific build here. There's a couple other builds where you might want Choice Scar for something like that. But for this one here, I'm going to stick with the Life Orb. Okay, so the next Terra type we're going to talk about on the next build is going to be the Dragon type. So this is the typing you get when you catch the Charizard in the 7-star raids right now. And so that's why I'm including it here. I'm not a huge fan of this one. I, I It's still viable. It's just there's so many different fairies out there that can come in and destroy the dragon typing that it's not usually a go-to for me, even though I love the dragon typing. So that being said, it's it's very similar to the last one with the 252 into special attack and speed. And then uh, when we go over to the move set, we have heat wave and flamethrower. This is where it starts to change a little bit. Uh, you can choose either one of those. Flamethrower, again, is going to be your more consistent damage out, single target. Heat Wave is going to hit both targets on the other side if you're doing doubles. If you're doing singles, just pick Flamethrower. But if you're doing doubles, you might want to do Heat Wave. It does have that less accuracy, though. We're still going to have our Air Slash for the Flying-type stab when we are not in the Terra. However, we are going to add Dragon Pulse here as our uh, Terra Dragon-type stab attack. So that's going to give us the nice stab bonus there for the Dragon Typing. As far as item ability nature, it's the same as the last build, solar power with either timid or modest and a life orb. You could also put like a, an expert belt on here if you're uh, considering uh, having life orb on something else. You might even do a choice scarf here or choice specs, uh, but frankly I would use those on something else and just stick with the life orb here. Maybe the expert belt, but probably just the life orb. 
All right, so the third set here is going to be the fun set. I really like this set. And I think it has a lot of possibility here. Unfortunately, I can't show you any footage for it because I don't have enough Terra Shards to change its typing, but it is going to be Terra Flying type. That is the type that we're going to be looking at here, changing it to a Mono Flying. The stats are going to be the same. Special Attack Speed, both 252 EVs, that other four into whatever you want. I put it into HP, but this is what we're going to do. In the move set, we're going to go straight Flamethrower, consistent easy damage mostly because we're not going to stay as a fire typing for very long this set is going to be meant to use in a rain team so you want somebody to come out and set that weather for you so that you can use hurricane hurricane in the in the rain is going to bypass the accuracy and it's going to always hit unless the target's like in uh, phantom force or dig or something like that but for the most part it's always going to hit and hurricane does a crazy amount of damage so being a mono flying type getting the stab on hurricane plus the extra damage from your terra it's going to be a very very nice bonus for you and then we're going to stick with solar beam here we're still going to have a weakness to electricity and we don't really have a great counter for that um, there is Earthquake, but since that's a physical move, that's not going to fit very well in this build here. So Solar Beam's kind of our best option. At least we get to neutralize a Rock-type threat when they come out on the field. That being said, Protect, again, is the fourth skill that I'm picking here. Now, as far as ability item in nature, this is where it gets a little different. Solar Power is, um, well, you have to set the sun, and we're setting the rain. So... I don't know if this is going to be useful for you. You would have to almost double stack weather Pokemon in your party. Something uh, that has drought, the brain comes out and then sets the sun. Now you've got your solar power going off, but then you don't have your uh, accuracy on the hurricane. It drops back down to that, that low accuracy. So I don't know if I would stick with solar power here. I might just pick Blaze for this set. It's completely up to you, especially if you don't have something that can set the rain, um, like a polyper or something. But if you don't, then maybe you want to be able to set the sun and get the damage on your solar power and go that route. Uh, the natures are going to be the same. Timid, modest, and life orb is kind of where I'm going here. If, if, if you have that rain team and you're really knocking people out with hurricane, you might want to go choice specs here for the insane damage. Insane damage on the choice specs, on the, the stab bonus, on the Terra stab bonus, and just the regular damage of Hurricane itself. That is a lot of DPS going out, and not a lot is going to live through that unless it's resistant to flying type. All right, so let's talk about a fun build here. Now, this build, even though it's fun, does have a little bit of viability to it. It's not going to be the one that's going to be winning all the time for you, but it could clutch every now and then when somebody sends something out uh, that they think you're going to be weak against and you're able to kind of rock them away. I'm sorry, that was a bad pun. This is going to be the Terra type rock. That is the, uh, the typing that we're going for here. And like I said, this is going to be a little bit tricky. So we're going to change it up. The EVs are going to be 148 to HP, 212 to defense, and 148 to speed. Now I'm going to jump down real quick to the natures. We're going to go with timid or bold. Now the EVs I have set here on the screen, those are going to be for timid. And this is going to keep your speed stat at 300 and allow you that if you get a plus one to go over 400 which is obviously super fast and if you're going to go ahead and do bold which increases your defense you may want to take some of those evs out of defense and put those into speed just to get you back to that 300 threshold with his base speed at 100 it's a shame not to it, it's a waste not to use that speed stat almost completely but in this case at least a little bit all right, that being said, let's move over to the move set. We're going to stick with the tried and true attacks of Flamethrower and Air Slash for our stab bonus when we are on the Fire Flying type. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and add in Ancient Power as our Terra stab bonus here. Now, Ancient Power is only a base power of 60. However, it does have the possibility of raising all your stats. I think it's a 10% chance of all your stats being raised. That would give you a plus one in every category, and that would make you fast, and it would make you dangerous. So that's actually pretty cool if that happens. That being said, do not bank on that happening. When it does, that's awesome. But really, this is just to kind of mess with your opponent's head a little bit while something else is also killing them. Uh, Solar Beam is going to be our fourth attack here, just as that coverage. Um, 
yeah, just as the coverage. Somebody's probably going to send out a rock type or a water type to come after your Charizard, and this is going to be a good counter for them there with the Solar Beam, and you'll be good. That being said, Solar Power, you could definitely take advantage of that. You could still have somebody set the sun in this case, and if you don't have that, Blaze is just as good. And then this time, we are going to be wearing the Assault Vest. We don't have any support moves on here. It's all damage. And so this is going to boost our special defense significantly and add a lot of survivability to this Charizard. All right, that about does it for the Charizard special attack video. I will be having a physical attack video come out later today. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have a special build that you really believe in or a terror typing that's been a lot of fun to use, put it down in the comments. Let me know what's going on. Otherwise, thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Until then, take care.